Hello, my name is Matt McDonald, and this is part two of the tutorial for the zombie first person shooter. So now we want to go ahead and play this level. We got our start locator in the correct location, we got our end locator. Now we currently don't have two scenes, right? So we're going to go ahead and save this scene as scene two. So we'll have a scene to go to. So we'll go to save, click this little disk here. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to click on that to get the lettering up there. And I'm going to add the number two there and save. And I'll save that. Another thing you can do to make sure that the user knows they're in the different scene is to actually take a different picture. So we'll go back to save again. And click this camera and then hit the space bar. You see it says this space bar take picture. And now I got a different picture for that particular scene. Uh, we're not going to bother putting up on the roof or changing the atmosphere or anything. I'm just going to do the basics of how to set up a playable level with character and some assets in it. And now we're going to launch the zombie player. So we're going to right mouse click, go to mode, play, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom and click on zombie. Okay, so we're loaded up into our scene that we made. This is your typical FPS controller. The WSD buttons work like they would normally, and the same is true for the mouse look controller. You roll the mouse button, and we do have a flare here. You hit the left mouse button, you can throw it, and you can see it actually lights up the area that it's thrown to, and it'll also set the zombies on fire. Put my pistol back in my hand, come to the door, open the doors, you can see there's a zombie, he sees us. We can go to the wall here, grab the AK, and light that guy up. Now if we shoot him in the legs, he starts crawling, he's trying to get to us. Give him a couple headshots and he'll die there. Now this one, we're gonna make use of that gas scan. Oh, reload. Ah. And you see that set them on fire. Well, you don't want to be too close to some of these things that explode because they will affect you as well. You run into these, you can see they move around. Run up to the doors, you can open up those doors. You can see there's all those cabinets we put and they all work the way they're supposed to. You can sh shoot out the glass. He doesn't know we're here. There he sees us now. So the way we set it up, it's a wave system, and they'll just keep on coming, coming, coming until you kill a certain number of them. Now, if you want to add more zombies, all you have to do is hit the escape button. Escape also brings up the controls, tells you what the controls are. You can adjust the settings. You can turn on your, your frame rate, turn the audio on and off the volume, the quality settings and whatnot, uh, whether you want it in full screen. I don't really dig the full screen mode, but it's in there. You can turn on invincibility and invert the rotation. The credits, info information, this is what we're doing now to let you know what, what's changed from release to release. You can also make changes in AGF and then not have to launch the player again. You just reload the scene. I'll show you what we're gonna do there. So now we're back in AGF. We wanted to add some zombies to this, so we just click on a zombie, and we'll grab this surgeon here. Maybe we'll make this kind of hard here. Put this big guy in there. These little Girl Scouts, they're uh, easy to kill, but they're pretty fast. They'll run after you. We'll put a couple of them in the back, and maybe making it hard to get out. We'll put this zombie, we'll hide him in the corner. Now this is scene two we're adding these things to see that up in the corner so we had scene one and scene two were currently the same but I want to call this one I might go back and make this one scene one so now I'm going to save scene two as scene one everybody got that all right now we go back to our zombie player we're back in our zombie player and you don't have to reload the scene you don't have to launch it again you don't have to find it just hit the reload scene button it remembers the last scene that you loaded Okay, so now we're back in level one or scene one of the game we're making. 
open the doors. You can see those new characters are added. We're going to make make use of our gasoline, set those guys on fire, go up, get our AK. We'll grab some health, and we'll light these guys up. Run over here. There's those little Girl Scouts. I want to see that our... You see, oh, there's another one spawning again. Shoot here in the legs. We're going to get through this door here. After I reload. And then don't forget, he's behind the door there. So we're going to come around here. Light him up. We're going to go to the next level. Get out of here. Now it's loaded us to the second level. And we know that to be the second level because beyond these doors are not all the characters we have from the first one. And you can remember we added some of the Girl Scouts, which they're not in this one. And we'll run down here. And in the context of getting to the end of the level, it's going to just dump you out to the beginning. So um, we want to make a proper end point so you know that you've completed the level. But you can see everything's all working in there. So let's go back to AGF and put a roof on this and change the atmosphere.